Today, I'm at the 43rd Annual Power Show at the Central Washington Museum. We've got some great vehicles to show you. Let's start with these snowmobiles. 1966, does that say JCPenney? Yeah. Snow Traveler, 1963. What's this, 1995 Arctic Cat, now that's adorable. A little kitty cat. And a little Arctic cat. Ah, oh, Skidoo. Very cool. Is that a John Deere? I like that motorcycle. Let's take a look. Wow, that is cool. Let's find out some more information on this. This is a 1963 Arctic Cat. Very cool. Here we got an Arctic Cat, 1966. Come around, Cougar. 71 Rupp. 74 Arctic Cat. Oh, another one of these cute little kitty cats. 97. Adorable. What do we got here? It says Rolo Flex. It's a 1973. Oh, I love this paint job on this the blue Ferrari. 1973 Speedway. Seventy five Thunder Jet. Wow. Oh, it has this top here. Seventy four Thunder Jet. And what's this? Another Thunder Jet. What year is this baby? 72. I love that blue. Oh, this is really cool. Look at the little stove. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Our featured tractor this year is the Alice Chalmers. Alice Chalmers like to paint their vehicles orange. This is the museum's Alice Chalmers. It's got the plow right down here. Got this nice old case tractor. And this uh, spray bucket they restored uh, last year for last year's show. This is pretty cool. I don't have all the proper names for everything, but this would probably be like a, the road scraper. Engineered, pretty cool. 
And then the MM, the Minneapolis Moline. Look at this one, it's beautiful. Let's take a look at this side. An Oliver 2655. Shadow! Shadow! We got a 1949 Farm All C. Look at how beautiful this one is. I love that blue. And here we have a 1947 Farmall A. This is an articulating tractor. You bend right there. Right. Oh, I'll go take a look at that. You can get these little umbrellas here online for your tractor. Even your long tractors. This little Cub Cadet from International Harvester. Kind of better to see them on this side because the sun really shadows them. I haven't been able to make any videos lately because it's been very hot, hard to get out. I've been working really hard, a lot of projects to do, vacation, all sorts of things. But I'll try to show what I can. Straighten that out. So. We have a lot of golf carts here in the museum. You can uh, bring your own, ride around. I like this John Deere. This is very simplistic. Love to find out more about this one. And an old international. This looks pretty cool. This almost looks like a, a doodle bug. Just the way it's put together. Here we have a McCormick Deering. Yep. Oh my goodness. I really want to show you this one. Look at this. Ah, beautiful. A Super H. Farmall. Pink. Gorgeous. Got a McCormick Farmall here. And what's this? A uh, McCormick. Okay, for sale, old cars, tractors, old, old flywheel engines. If you're interested, let's take a look at some. Like the old Chevy. Little, little Gibson. Nineteen forty-eight model uh, Ford Model Eight N. 
and we have a mini tractor on the back. That's beautiful. Did you make that? That's nice. Yeah, that needs two little ones over here. Oh, I'll come around. This is a 1954 John Deere Model 70. And next to it, we have a 1964 Case Model 730. person has been joining many of our shows. I have another case. And then another case. Over back here, they're having a tractor pull. Maybe we'll go over there in a minute. Oh, they're so adorable. Yeah, that's a couple of them I've done. Nice. That looks like a lot of fun. Good fun. Mm. Winter project. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I've been waiting this entire time is the Ferrari. This 1980 question mark Ferrari model 85. This has a three cylinder in it. This is some other ones I've been. Made in Italy. Trailer in the back row. Couple of them These are all just. I'm looking at a picture on the internet. Mm -hmm. That's what I bought a pattern for. That was my pattern for this. John Deere was an innovator. This one's for sale. Nineteen fifty Cub, rare two speed, rear end and ro rotator, includes quick net hitch, blade front and mid mount, plow, sickle ball mower, weight wheels, or wheel weights, PTO flat pulley, extra mag, and many other parts. Thirty two hundred. Pretty dang cool if you're interested. Tractor pull going on. Uh, this is the lawn tractor division. Little Cub Cadet. Cadet. We're going to set up their tractor here. And you're going to put it here. Going to clean up the track a little bit. Hook it up. Do this this year with my tractor. I'm just too busy. Doing good at 30.
in one of our trucks and museum. I'll probably do a video on this later on. Got a John Deere 520. I think I showed this at the very beginning. Not the whole vehicle, just a little short on it, but I will do one one time. And talk about the lack of leg room. Another, another Ferrari. This is the fastest one I hear. No. <laughs> Got a standard McCormick International Harvester. Hey, Tammy, did you want one? Okay. That little guy. But look at this back here. Look at this. Yeah, 1949 International Farm Mall H. Super H. Comfort King Case 1030. And look at this little creation right here. We got a 1948 Minneapolis Moline Model U, 40 horsepower, 58,000 built. And a 1920 Water Ram. Unburned diesel smell is not a pleasant smell. One of our volunteers grows a lot of dahlias and other things here in this little section. And we got some more McCormick, McCormick Farmalls. Oh, look at this one. This is unique. Caterpillar Diesel D2. And a little Oliver Cleed Track HG. Got a case. Another case. A diesel John Deere 1952 R. Ours were the first John Deere diesel tractor. They were manufactured from 1949 to 1954 with a grand total of 21,293 made. Cost approximately $3,600. This tractor has a gas starting engine called a Pony Start. Diesel engine is a 47 horsepower and weighs 7,600 pounds. good information. Got another John Deere. And John Deere. That's the 830 diesel. John Deere. Fresh from the field for one buck. Come see us over at the watermelon corn over by the bread. Cold water over there too.
Well, this is really unique. An F20. We got a row crop Oliver. Another Oliver 70. Another Oliver. What's this one? A Oliver Super 550. And we I think we did a video on the cock shed already. And a video on the MM already. Let's take a look at the 70s standard here. Little Oliver. We got a Ford tractor. And another Ford. And another Ford. And I'm going to guess this is also a Ford. This has the Ferguson system in it. A lot of times these tractor companies use uh, different systems from other companies or different engines. And sometimes they, you get a misfit where there's something unique in one of them and uh, you really can't find any information on it because it's just put together uniquely. I guess that's not the best explanation, but there you go. After doing my channel for six months, I've learned quite a bit and I still have a lot more to go, but I do have to take a break because I have to absorb all this information. This is uh, a carriage. This is the tractor parade and we honor our grand marshals, which will come by here first. And a special honorable mention to one of our friends here at the museum, Rose.
This is a 1941 Ford panel delivery. Uh, this truck here was used by a mailman for many years. He actually put that stove in it. You've seen this earlier in my video. And there was a piece of plywood in one of the windows. The, the mailman put that there too, so the snow wouldn't get in his face when he delivered. So this kid here was probably a public railroad museum. So we need that now. Another McCormick Farm All International. This is the uh, Super H International Harvester. Maybe it's a little bored. And we have a John Deere 50 with power steering. So I'll switch to the shady side of the The shady side isn't always better. I really like that one. Here's that Ferrari. You can hear that. Massey Ferguson diesel. A Ferrari 86. There's two of these. They're really unique vehicles. Tractors articulating in the middle. And last we have uh, this uh, newer. 
track from here. This is a Monarch Founder Series. Yeah, thanks for joining All Vehicles Great and Small. And we're at Central Washington Agriculture Museum for our power show. We have one more show this year, the Agricol Agricopia. So there should be some great uh, tractors and stuff. Hopefully you like the tractors we've seen today. Thanks for joining us.